thanks so much for joining us. We are going to talk to you about a fabulous invention by a young gal, Ella Cassano. Thank you so much for being here. And her mom, Meg, from Fairfield, Connecticut. Um, at seven years old, you're now 12, you are diagnosed with an autoimmune disease, which is called what? It's called ITP. And ITP means? Idiopathic what? thrombocytopenia purpura. Which means you need IVs a lot. And they started yes. at seven years old, right? Yeah. And that was scary for your family, right? You were trying to figure out what was going on with Ella and what her needs were. Mm -hmm. And you need these still every eight weeks, IVs? Yes. To, uh, to help you do what, Ella? To make my platelet count go higher. Because it's really, really low. Yes, normally. And so there's certain things that you can and cannot do. Is that correct? correct? In your life. But you love to fish and you love to sing, so mm -hmm. so that's great. <laughs> so along comes an idea. Was it your mom's idea? Was it your idea? How did the Medi Teddy, which has, you can take the little bear next to you off of there, which has an IV bag in it, so doctors and nurses can see exactly how much fluid is in there, but on the front, it's not scary for children. Yeah. Right? So was that your idea, Ella? Yes, it was my idea. And I actually made the original prototype um, for my fifth grade invention convention. Ah, so did you first draw a bear? Or what, what did you draw first as you were working out what, what it was going to be? Well, I took a stuffed penguin that I just had in my room, and I cut out the back to make the pocket. Yes. And then I just used hot glue and just sewed a little piece of mesh to cover it. And then we just ordered an IV bag and used that to... I'm going to set him right there, or I'm going to actually <laughs> have you put him right back up there. Do you remember at all, you're 12 now, but do you remember the first time that you got an IV? Did, did you I wonder, did. What, what is going on? Yeah, and I was especially intimidated by the big bag of medicine. Uh-huh. So you wanted to make this friendly. How was this received at your invention convention in fifth grade? In fifth grade, my teachers, um, they really loved it. And even through sixth grade, they were still encouraging me to make it into a business. So mom, what happened? So she, she comes up with this plan. Now you've got a germ of an idea that mm -hmm. makes a lot of sense. Your story mm -hmm. is going worldwide. Right. <laughs> uh, so how did, how did you get from her idea mm -hmm. to this? Well, I saw the prototype, and I'm, I'm a nurse by training. Um, I don't practice now, but I, I knew it was pretty cool. I knew there was nothing like this. Um, and I said, OK, well, you should kind of show me what you have in mind. Show me that you want to take this to the next level. So she did. She researched. She wrote her own business plan. She made her own marketing video. Um, and she really kind of proved to me that she was in this. Um, so then I said, OK. Um, I figured out how to incorporate a business, figured out how to open the business bank account, figured out how to do all that boring stuff. Um, and then kind of the last step, we said, okay, well, your model, your business model is that you want to raise some money. Let's test and see if you can actually do that. Thinking this would be maybe in our town. We'd be driving a few Medi Teddies around in the back of my car. <laughs> and then what happened? And how long ago did this kind of just blow up? Well, it's been a yeah, week or so, right? It's been a week. So who got a hold of this and said, we need to tell the world about this? I would say it, we started a GoFundMe campaign trying to raise um, $5,000 for her first order of 500 Betty Teddies. And um, it was it's actually... It's now over 21000 as we <laughs> take this. <laughs> so um, so it, mm -hmm. people are calling you from where? Um, everywhere. Where's everywhere? In this country, outside of this country? Um, we've had many calls from in this country and numerous calls from outside the country as well. Australia, Singapore, Singapore. Israel, um, Japan. Denmark, Japan, South America. Trying to, South are these Africa. hospitals calling because they want to get these in their hospitals or, or labs or, or what have you? Some are hospitals, uh -huh. many are hospitals, particularly in the United States. Um, there also are just 
hundreds of individuals though who are just sending the most heart-wrenching stories and they want one for their child all over the world how are you uh, when you go go to bed at night and you think about this invention and that is starting to really connect with people what what do you think ella i'm just really proud that i'm able to help as many people and like take what might not be as fortunate for me and turn it into a blessing so how are you you sound like you're about 35 years old <laughs> not just 12. Um, the disease that you have has that made you very aware of other kids like you and other kids that have other kinds of diseases that that this is made just for it has yes where do you hope this goes do you hope is your dream to get this in every hospital in the country? What, what are your dreams about Medi Teddy? I hope that every child who wants one is able to have one. All right, so you're going to raise, you know, $5,000 to have 500, but now you have, as I said, almost, um, you're heading to 22,000 before we even get this out into social media. What happens if you get all this money? Who's going to make these? Where are they going to go? What kind of help could you use? I could probably answer that yeah. one. <laughs> okay, take um, it, Mom. Um, as of right now, we've been working really closely with New England Toy Company, um, and they've been really great about uh, turning our drawings into prototypes. Um, she made the original, and then we drew this design together. Um, so I think we're okay on the production side. Um, how we're going to distribute them, we're not sure yet. We're, we're working with some really smart people um, to try to figure that out, um, but we haven't solved that quite yet. So maybe somebody listening to this is going to help you solve this. <laughs> now, you're, you think you're going to stay with the bears, but there could be other bears, correct? What, what ideas do you have swimming around there, Ella? Since it's called Medi Teddy, we were hoping to kind of go with the bear theme and do panda bears, um, black bears, polar bears. And you also are maybe coming out with a line of clothing for the bears? Yes, so um, in our final prototype, we're going to have um, a little piece of Velcro on the shoulders and then on the back, like right here. Um, so then people can stick, like we might have little tutus or shirts for kids to kind of customize their own bear. So you're going to have to get, you know, pen and paper and start drawing all the things. Ball could be ball gowns or <laughs> who knows what's coming, yeah. right? Maybe sport jerseys, team jerseys. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it, the sky's the limit. You could have uh, some kind of college names on it. You just you just don't know what you're going to do. Yeah. Um, who have you heard from uh, kids your age and what are they saying to you? We haven't heard from any kids directly. But, but in your school, what are they saying? Oh, your school friends. My friends are, they're really supportive and very proud of me. Mm -hmm. Have you had, so you haven't been able to go into a hospital, or have you, and see this work for a child? Have you done that yet? Have you, have, has there been a patient that's actually used this, besides you? <laughs> no. Well, we gave one, we gave oh, one yeah. to a girl in her school. Mm -hmm. So tell me about that. Well, one of my friend's sisters was diagnosed with cancer, and so we gave one to her. Um, and the nurses at her hospital really loved it. What's not to love? <laughs> you have made, I mean, this just puts a smile on a child's face because do you remember how scary that was? Yeah. Tell me about that. Well, for my first few IVs, I wasn't really familiar with any of the equipment or of what was happening and then when I saw the big bag of medicine I was kind of just thinking like all that's going into me and it was just really intimidating. So again this is in the front the, the nurses and doctors can see in the back yes. as a nurse you know when to, when to change these. Um, where do you think once this money how long does the GoFundMe um, campaign go? It's as long as it's oh okay right. so you're, it's, it's open ended it. right now right all right so um, you need it you've got a, a business model a business plan um, what else are you thinking that this can do Ella 
Um, provide discomfort for a child? Yeah. It's, it's to provide a friendlier hospital experience for them. Um, how soon, I mean, w once you did your IVs, which is, has it been every eight weeks since she was seven? So you're pretty used to it by now. Yeah. yeah. But I'm thinking that this is going to make, do you, do you actually bring them with you now? I do. <laughs> <laughs> so when you, so when you have that, and how long is, just, is it just one IV? How long is the session? It's one IV and it takes about five to six hours. All right. So you're there with her and. It's all day. So what are, you, are you, what are you doing while, this, while the fluid's going into you? Reading, playing games with whoever took me, or watching TV. How do you think that um, your autoimmune disease has changed you? It's made me more aware of how lucky I am compared to other kids with autoimmune diseases. Do you think at some point you're going to go out and speak about this? You're going to have the Medi Teddy. You're going to have this platform of, hi, I'm the inventor of these. But what do you want to be when you grow up and you're already sort of grown up? Uh, I want to be a hematology oncology doctor. That makes a big sense. That makes <laughs> big sense to me. Um, what do you think about your daughter? She's wonderful. She's, she's just, I, I I honestly have to say she's just a pleasure to parent and uh, my husband and I just are having so much fun watching her path unfold before her and I'm just trying to work really hard not to let her down, try to make this be as much as it can be for her. Do you have any worries about this not being a su success? Um, well, there's always the possibility that it could kind of just like fizzle out, like the donations could stop coming and, but our goal is to make it keep on being successful for as long as possible. Um, what other dreams do you have about being an inventor? Because I know you want to be a hematologist and that's <laughs> going to be great for the world because of, of what has happened to you. But what other dreams do you have about, because this is only a weekend now as you're talking to me and it's just exploding. Yeah. So what other thoughts are in your head, Ella? Well, like I said before, I hope that every child who wants one is able to have one. And biggest hurdle right now outside of just, your biggest hurdle is actually success. Like how do you get these to all the hospitals? How do we turn all of this desire, all this demand into the supply and delivery that we know we need? I bet you an angel investor comes along and, and this just does a great thing for you <laughs> and your family. Um, I just, I want to thank you so much uh, for telling me about this and I just can't wait to see what you do next um, because it's going to be terrific along with your family, so supportive and um, you're a very bright star on this planet. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for you having us. You bet. Thank you. Spend all night kissing and a bump is right here, then who else is missing? Got a little sidetracked to find my solution. I find the piece of the door, but it's also a metaphor. Need to keep locked in the grocery store, but mine, just the same time. Skip by the heads and the nice ride.